What exactly is a switch statement? Well, a switch statement is very similar to an if statement, or if else I should say, where it goes through and it checks a certain value against another value to determine if that is true or not. And then if it is, it'll return whatever is in that block that is true. So what we can do is just go ahead and write something out to test. So here I'm just going to say public int test int and make that equal to four. And under the start method, I can go ahead and test this by saying switch int test int, sorry, and open the curly braces. So now inside of this is where we put our logic uh, for the switch for the switch to check. So we will put in cases. So we will say case one break. So if it is one, then let's go ahead and break and not check any of the other values here. So in case one right here is where we would put our logic. So for our purposes, we're just going to say debug.log. We found a one. So this means if we run it now, nothing will happen because it will never see that four to fix that. So if we have uh, the equivalent of an else, we can say default. debug.log we didn't find a matching number and now we can go back into unity and we can test this out real quick we grab our main camera and we drag in the switch case you can see that the test in is four if we press play we didn't find a matching number you can see it in the console because it ran through and it didn't find it if we switch this to one, because we know there is a one in that list, press play, we found a one. So and to do more, we can just put more of these cases in here, say two, three, four, and it'll run through and it'll try to find all of these items. We found a two, we found a three, we found a four. And go back into going back into Unity. We found a one. We found a three, and it'll continue to do that even if I put in uh, whatever that is. Put in a ninety-nine. Press play. We didn't find a matching number. So that is essentially the difference between a switch and an int or an if statement is the switch is a bit more streamlined. And in a lot of cases, it is supposedly more efficient to write something like this. And because it's just more streamlined, they generally use, in most cases, primitives, you can use some more complex objects in here, but not nearly as complicated as what you can do in an if else statement. But if you have a simple like number value that you're trying to run through here, or just a string or something that you want to quickly find if there's a match, then this would be your option. All right. Well, thanks for watching. Hope you liked, uh, hope you liked the video and please like and subscribe. See you next time. Just want to take a quick moment to shamelessly promote myself. I have a game coming out on steam on November 23rd called survive the uprising. It's a silly game. It's a wave based survival where the machines have come to life and you can buy guns and upgrade equipment and things like that to fight off the waves until you can face up to the boss and defeat the level. Uh, if that's up your alley, please wishlist it, or if even if you just want to support the channel, I would really appreciate it.